All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode six. Number of the six. Wrestle Death 101 podcast. My name is Rich. And of course, we have co host and Deathmatch Bro. We got Joe Beisler in the motherfucking building. Joe. So my going man. On? How is going on? What is going on, good sir? How are you? I'm always good. Yeah, so so this is episode six, right? We did it in episode five. I'm having some technical difficulties over here. We tried this on a new platform, and for whatever reason, it is just not working. So episode five will be uploaded at some point. We just right. don't know. Right it's, now, it's just in there. It's right. just in the annals of technology. That's right. It's it's. I'm not saying it's lost in the stratosphere. It is on my computer. It's just not. I don't, I don't know. It's uh. I don't know. It's very uh. It's just. It's not happening. So. No. Just so you know, we definitely shout it out. RPW, GCW, yes. IWS. Yeah. Circle set. You know, we we Circle want set. that episode out, so you we guys did. know we put you out there. Yeah, we we talked uh, the Sting Hall of Fame. Uh, well, the Sting's last match, Paul Heyman Hall of Fame. Yep. We covered a lot of stuff on that episode, so it will get up eventually. So, America, be a little patient here. It's okay. Whew. Okay, so but this is on this to a better note. On a better note, we got a great weekend coming. We do, we do, sir. <laughs> So this is this is GCW. This is going to be the GCW preview show for the weekend. And it's actually starting off with H2O Wrestling Friday oh, night. Sprinkle from H2O in there. A nice little, yeah, nice little buffer, nice little pre-show before GCW in Atlantic City. Ashes yeah. to Ashes. And they have so much fun on Sunday. They got JCW Sunday afternoon. Um... So we got four shows in three two days. days. Yeah, it's insane. Um, you know, like I just said before, we hit the record button. You know, Marty hit me up. He asked me if I want to do H two O, and he goes, "I'll pick you up." I was like, "Okay." It didn't nice. really take much. It didn't take much doing. So I was like, "All right, we'll yeah. go." Nice little Friday night, you know. And then we'll head down to, uh, you know, AC on on Saturday. So H two O. I know they got the four way for the title. That's right. Um, okay, so I'm looking at the card right now. So for the H2O heavyweight title, we got a four-way match. So we got champion Austin Luke going up against Bam Sullivan, MM3, and Tommy Vendetta. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to take a guess in that this is going to be the main event. And, and MM3 and Tommy Vendetta are the tag team champions. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you got a prediction? I'm thinking Austin retains. You think so? Yeah. 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 It would be a little too soon to take it, take the belt off him. Isn't that, yeah. Even that, I think, you know, sometimes they think four ways, uh, you know, less than the champ's chance, but sometimes it works in their favor, too. Yeah. I mean, because Bam, he just dropped the Danny Hardcore belt, and... MM3 and Tommy, they're they're the H2O tag team champions. Yeah. Austin Luke hasn't been champion that long. I don't see nah, him taking. I don't see them taking the belt kids, off. It's definitely good enough to retain it. Yeah, I think so too. So that should be a pretty creative. It'll be a fun main event. Oh yeah. Um, all right. So then we also have you know Neil Diamond Cutter taking on Mouse for the Danny Havoc Hardcore title. Yeah, that should get a little fun. That would be fun. You know, Neil has been going hard. Yeah, I mean they're both out of their minds. Yeah. So that that'll be a good one. I said Mouse is going hard. Neil is just a given. (laughs) Well, that's just what he does. He's just a savage. He just always yeah. He is the honey badger for a reason. Oh yeah. I'll still break his balls about his long entrance though. Oh dude, it's great. It's such a good time. (laughs) It's such a good time. Um, all right, so then we also have in an anything goes match, you know, it'll probably be hardcore street fight death match ish. Yeah, we got the kill dozer taking on Marcus Mathers. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, that'll be good. Marcus be has a, been killing it. 
Yeah, Marcus is killing it. He, um, let me see. So, this is a nice like we, little. We uh, covered in the episode in the lost episode. We covered how good a him and Janela was. I know. Yeah, yeah, we covered ETU so, also. Yeah, so uh, uh, you know, we'll just see. Him now it's just another, another test. Yeah. So then we, right, before so, when Matt was Matt. But this is the kill dozer, so we'll see. Right. So this is the kill dozer. So he has a, uh, you know, a nice little warm up match, and then because isn't Marcus Mathis facing Masha Slamovich on Sunday for JCW for the belt? Okay. Yeah. So I'm okay. So cool. this is like a nice little couple warm ups for these guys yeah. for the weekend. Um. Then we got Declan Grant against Ron Bass Jr. Yeah. What do you think? Hard hitting. Yeah. That's a hard hitting one. Uh, you know, uh, going with my heart, I want Declan there. You want Declan? Yeah, I'm a Declan guy. I mean, yeah. I've known that kid since he was a uh, security. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of feeling Ron Bass Jr. for a reason. Like, I don't know why. It's just. I mean, it don't. It won't surprise me, but, uh, right. you know, I'm pulling for Declan. I'm a, you know, that's more the heart pick. <laughs> All right. And then we have Dominic De Niro against Frank Benetti. Again, another Dom. I'm a Dom. I'm a Dom De Niro guy, so I'm hoping he pulls it out. Okay. And then yeah, we he's have. Had some impressive, he had some impressive fights at New Fear City. Yes. Yeah, he did. Um, all right. So then the next match is we, we it is. The hybrid title and it's gonna be a lumberjack match. Yeah. We got Leroy taking on President Hawkins. Yeah. So it'd be a, a interesting to see who the lumberjacks are gonna be. Yeah. Interesting. And how yeah, many are there role. gonna be? Yeah. That's another one. How many lumberjacks right. are there gonna be? Interesting. Yeah. So um, we just have to, if either you have to watch or go and see. Well, we'll be there live and in person. Oh, yes. So very important stuff, America. This is very important. So then we have Stretch and Anthrax taking on Brian Neal and Duncan Aleem. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going with Stretch and Anthrax with this one. Of course. Um, yeah, they're, on, they're, 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 they're hot right now. Yeah. Both of them dudes to be, you know putting themselves in better positions, which they are. No, I agree. Um, now, you think this is going to be a death match? I mean, do – I'm not I'm not too familiar with Duncan Aleem and Brian Neal. I mean, no, nah, it's not going to be a death match, but maybe a door, chairs, you know. Okay. Oh, shit. Hardcore-ish. Yeah. Okay. And then um, the last one here is that we got a scramble. We have Manhorn. We got Vega. We got Wade. We got Gigi Everson. Um. Oh, there's two more. Smith. I don't know his first name. I gotta be All honest. Right. And then JB. Yeah, JB. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna go with uh. I'm gonna go with Gigi Everson with this one. Ah, right, yeah. Well, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go with JB on this one. Okay. The JB Anderson kind of guy. That's my brother. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> Very nice, sir. All right, so that's going to be H2O on Friday. It's going to be a nice yep. little Friday evening. Um, Come out to the H2O Center, 8 o'clock on a Friday if you can. Yeah. If not IWTV. IWTV live, right? It's going to be, it'll probably be live, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it'll, it'll be live. Um, all right, so then Saturday night, Game Changer Wrestling, Ash to Ashes. Showboat in Atlantic City. Oh yeah. Um. Ever since now, don't get me wrong. Like it's it's Atlantic City. This is home. It's their home base. Like this is their stadium. Brett. Ever since they went to the terminal, Brett is like balls to the wall. Like even more. I think he it inadvertently made him just like take it up a notch. Right. Hey. And they he's been good so far. He spoils the shit out of us, and. All right, I'm going to run down this card, and we'll give our predictions about this stacked lineup. Okay, so last night, 
in a, um in a strap match, we got Mance Warner and Effie. Yeah. So, what are you thinking? Great feud. Yeah, it's, it's good. Fact, I, I mean, Mance is a guy that you you, you uh, to me you love him as a heel or a face. He's great. Right. And uh, this is the run. I'm hoping to see culminate with him and Blake. So I'm pulling. I'm definitely Mance. Mance is pulling this out. You think Mance is going to win? Yeah. So if Mance wins, so whoever wins, do you think this is the end of the feud for whoever wins? Uh, it should be. He beat everybody else. Yeah. I mean, you would yeah, think. Because be. usually when the be face, you know, usually if the heel goes over. Usually there'll be another one, another match, so like then the face can get his chance, and then it's usually over. But I think Mance is taking this. Yeah, and like I said, I want to see him at some point fighting Blake. Even, I mean, perfect world, he fights Blake spring break. Wow. Yeah. But they had it. Well, they're gonna set it up because I think they're. I, I think they're putting Mance in that spot. Yeah. This is like the 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 prelude to him facing Blake. It'll yeah. basically be like heel versus heel, but Right. Who the Mance, hell but, but Mance right. Blake's gonna get booed out of the building and it's gonna be all about Mance. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm predicting here. So I'm going I'm going with Mance Warner in the strap match. You too? We'll get, they'll get violent for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So then we have the tag team belts on the line. We got violence is forever against how do they X U N T Zunt. We'll go with Zunt. Yeah. Whatever. So I'm guessing that's going to be Sawyer Wreck and Dark Sheik. That's yeah. All right. So I'm going with violence is forever. Yeah. No, one. they're not. They're, uh, again, they're another one that I, I've liked for years. Glad to see they're on the GCW roster now. I mean, they've oh, done, yeah. they've dabbled in shows, but they're full time now. They're champions. They're they're good. They're good. I like them. Not, they have a, yeah, they have they're a, not dropping the belt yet. No way. No. Uh, you know, I love Sawyer. I, Dark Sheik. Ah, either way for me, I really don't big big deal. But I think Violence is forever is uh, much better. I agree. I agree. So yeah. we're going with violence is forever, retaining the belts. Yeah. Then we got Blake Christian and Shane Mercer taking on uh, Cole Radrick and Alec Price. Yeah. I like Cole and Alec, but Mercer's a madman, dude. And he's another one that's, you know, he's he, he deserves a big, big time role, too, and he's getting it. And, I agree. Uh, you know, Blake's the champ. So, uh, yeah, the champ and his henchmen, they're definitely going to take this. I agree. So I'm going to go with crook. It's going to be, listen, this is going to be a great match. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to go with Blake I mean, and Mercer. Can move. Mercer, yeah. for, for a, a built a great guy, he can move with both, with all three of them. So. Yeah, he's crazy athletic. For his size, he, it's insane. Yeah. yeah. So that's what makes it even better, to, you know. You're gonna have hard hitting on his side, and then you're gonna have all the you know crazy action too. This is true. All right, so I, I guess we're down Christ at us. Yeah. Sorry. Right, so I'm guessing. We're, okay. So we're both going with Blake and Mercer on this one. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll make a sign say Yeet section. Yeah. Might as well. Are you from? Yeah. Rome? yeah. Oh, nice man. Me too. All right. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. Then we got Los Macizos taking on Mr. Danger and Terry Yaki. Okay. I have only seen minimal coverage of both of them. And, uh, you know, it, you know, I'm sure if I see more of them, I'll get more interested. But uh, you, you tell me, uh, you know, maybe you know more about them than I do. I mean, I'm familiar uh, but, with uh, I'm familiar with Mr. Danger. Um, right. Terry Yaki, I never heard of him, and it's nothing against him, I yeah, just never no, heard I, of him. Um, yeah. but I'm gonna go with Macizos on this, 
Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going. Can't... Yeah, I'm going with Macizos. Um, yeah, they got a Punjabi prison match coming. That's what I'm saying. They got this. <laughs> they have this clusterfuck of a tag team match coming up. Eight guys in that ring with surrounded by bamboo. It's gonna be fucking insane. Uh, I know. Um, okay, so the next one is gonna be a little interesting. We got Tony Deppin taking on Microman. Ah, uh, uh, I know. My favorite match of the night. I Tony Deppin is gonna be a first class asshole during this whole match. Ah, uh, of course. It's be fucking hysterical. It's gonna be so funny. So, dude, I I don't know how this somehow, some way, Deppin's going to go over by like kicking him in the face or something. It's going to be something silly. It's going to, yeah. Tony Deppin is going to be a fucking douchebag during this oh, entire match. It's going to be time. so funny. But uh, it's gonna, it, listen, they're going to make the best of this. So, oh, yeah. Um, and this match is like is entertainment purposes because we know Microman is legitimately three feet tall. Yeah. All right. My niece is five and she's taller than him. So I yeah. just want to put everything in perspective. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with Tony Depp. I'm gonna go with Tony Depp. Yeah. Yeah, he's gotta do something ridiculous to pen him. Yeah. It'll Maybe be good. even punt him. You never know. I want. Oh my punt god! Him. Please, that'd be. <laughs> please just. Punt him into the front row, into the third row, please. That would be, be amazing. So that would be so good. All right, so then the next match, we have a returning Dan Housen taking on Charles Mason. Yeah. Interesting matchup. Interesting. I, uh, Interesting. Yeah, I like, uh, you know, I get a kick out of Dan Housen. Uh, Mason's very hated, but he also has backup. Yeah. So, uh, you know, does Dan Housen sneak anybody in with him? Who knows? Um, I, I do not see Dan Housen taking the pin. I don't know what's going to happen, dude. Maybe it's a DQ. Uh, nah, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. It depends if, if Richard Holiday is there, if Paro is there, if, you know, they're going to get involved. Like, do they just jump in and just beat the shit out of Dan Housen? Right. And maybe, like I said, maybe Dan Housen brings a friend and somebody saves him. That'd be a cool. Now, now, what friend do you think this could be? Uh, well, uh now you put me on the spot. I have no idea. Mm, That's what yep. you thought you. You never know, man. Maybe he'll bring out the Tremperetta. <laughs> it's possible. You never know, man. The, the world of no, wrestling is fucking wacky. But um. I want to go with Dan Housen, but I would not be surprised if it's just you unless know, there's shenanigans. He is not. Um, what 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 am I saying here? Dan Housen is not losing clean. All right. No, not happening. Um. All right. So then the next match we have Abdullah Kobayashi taking on the returning bulldozer Matt Tremont. Yeah. So, yeah, you got two legends, really. I mean, yeah. How else do you put it? And uh, this will be <laughs> this will be violent. It's going to be fun. I mean, we're yes. going to see a lot of we're going to see a lot of things broken over a lot of people. This is going to be a brawl. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of glass broken. Yeah, I There's think there's gonna be a I lot of blood this, everywhere. I, I honestly think this one probably is bloodier than the main. You think so? I think that yeah. J j I mean, not that not not saying better match, whatever. I'm right. saying just blood loss wise, knowing how Tremont is and Kobayashi, dude, they're gonna be they're gonna they're gonna yeah. be probably both wearing a crimson mask within three minutes of the match. I wouldn't put it past him. And you know what? This is the no. first time in quite a while that Tremont yeah. is going to be in a GCW ring. Yeah. He's facing a legend. Yeah, he's going all out. And who knows? Yeah. Maybe he'll wear that uh, the Mick Foley birthday shirt. You never know. Love it. 
Never I hope so. know. Um. So then I'm guessing that the main event is going to be Nick Gage taking on Ryuji Ito. Oh, it makes sense because yeah. uh, like I said, Ito, Ito hasn't been in America in a while. Uh, you know, this this is this is the. I mean, listen, I would have probably, I would have definitely went anyway. But this was the selling point for me to be like, I got to get front. Like, yeah, I haven't, I've never seen Ito live. So, right. I've seen, uh, we've seen Kobayashi a couple times, H2O, yeah. ICW in Newark. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know what? And then Ito, I mean, speaks for herself. Yeah. You know, it was, it's going to be a hot crowd Saturday. They are going in. This is yeah. going to be. Yeah, Brett is going all out with this, and I think everybody. Yeah, we're gonna get two real bloody matches at the end. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, yeah. So I'm guessing. So, what do you think the match of the night is gonna be? Whew, uh, I, I, see, because of me, I, I, I'm going to think Matt Kobayashi. You think so? Yeah. I mean, because I'm not taking anything away from Edo and Gage. I just think I'm right. enjoying their match better. Right. Now, because it always says plus more, um, you know, and they always have to scramble. So, you yeah, know, there's yeah. going to be like, six guys in that. I mean, and there's, yeah. oh, you know, there's a few guys who, you know, a few of the regulars who aren't, uh, you know, listed here. But yeah, I, I'm going to, you know, I do agree with you that probably Tremont and Kobayashi and then. Yeah, I mean, there is not one bad match on this entire card. No, no, no. We're no. gonna have a great. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So, oh man, so that Saturday night is covered. So, what we'll do is I'll segue into we'll do a little Jersey Championship wrestling, which is going to be on Sunday afternoon. At the showboat for a nice little Sunday matinee. Uh, yeah. Party Marty calls it the hangover show because yeah. everyone is either usually hungover or they're just way too hungover to go, which yeah. is totally understandable. For sure. Yeah, we, you know what I mean? Like, listen, if, if you can make it cool, if you can't, we get it. There's no hard feelings over here. You know, hey, but um, late, last couple times I was down there, I didn't go to sleep until nine. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that can get a little, yeah, that can get a little fuzzy. That's for sure. All right, so it's called March Madness. Um, we have Charlie Tiger taking on Mecca. Um, I don't know who Mecca is. I'll be honest, I never heard of him. Neither do I. All right. Um. So for the Jersey Championship title, we have Masha Slamovich taking on Marcus Mathers. Yeah, that's going to be probably the match of the night. You know yeah, I, mean? I agree. Those, those two go hard no matter what. And, uh, you know, again, I've seen them wrestle before, but they both have gotten better since. So bring it on. Yeah, um, Masha is not dropping the belt yet. Um, no. So... I think I think Mosh is the obvious answer here. Yeah. Um I'm sure it'll be a great match. They'll go listen, they'll yeah. go a solid twenty minutes. You know, and they'll and they'll do their thing. They'll tell a great story. Yeah. Um so now, interesting enough, so Mr. Danger and Teriyaki are teaming up to face Basisos, but in JCW, they're actually having a one on one match. Okay. I'm gonna go with Mr. Danger. Yeah, the more known guy, like I said, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens on uh, Saturday to tell how uh, how good those guys I really think they are. Like you said, I have yeah. seen Mister Danger, but I gotta pay more attention. Yeah, uh, he's he was there. He's he's done he's done, he's done a handful of things with them. So he's yeah. he's crazy athletic. It is it's yeah. insane. No, I, um, I do remember seeing that. I just like I said, I was probably paying attention to somebody else in the match. Hmm. All right. So then we have uh, Broski Jimmy, Jimmy Lloyd, uh, against CPA, who is taking, um, you know, he's taking time out of tax season schedule. Yeah. To take on Broski Jimmy. 
Um, for people who don't know, CPA, he is actually like a real account because CPA is like the certified. Look at account. Yeah, he's like an actual accountant. Like it's what he does. Yeah. So um, I'm sure here, him and his six shirts will be live and in person going all in. Um, I, I'm going with CPA. Ah, uh, Brodsky, Jimmy, don't lose. You don't think so? No. I don't know. I think he's going to be like, I don't know. Like, I miss he's old gonna, Jimmy. He's on his way to get in the tan and a shave. You think so? You think he's going to get a solid arm workout in before this match? Uh, I, I don't think so, but it'd be fun to think about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I, I am going with CPA just because I think, um, I don't know. I just had that feeling. It could change. But Go get him, Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy, come back to us, please. We miss you. <laughs> 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 I love uh, so then we have Charles Mason taking on Hunter Drake. Ah, right, not bad. Yeah, not bad. Uh, you know, again, I think uh, Mason probably goes over with probably some help. Yeah, um, yeah, Mason, Charles Mason. Yeah. I think he's definitely going to go over Hunter Drake in this one. He's a good, he's a good deal, man. He's, you know, people hate him. It's fun. Yeah. It's going to be some good stuff. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. It says, you know, the main event, the tag team, they're going to be there. And it says plus more, so maybe we'll get a scramble. Um, yeah, like I said, it, Brett sometimes puts announcements the night before the show, so we still got a couple nights. Exactly. So I think, you know what, it's going to be a nice little Sunday matinee for um, Jersey Championship Wrestling on Sunday yeah. afternoon. Um. All right, so the, now let's go to so much fun. Sunday night. So much. Sunday night. Okay, so we have Microman taking on a returning to GCW, Brandon Kirk. Yeah, the Kirk family returning today. Yeah, they are. Crazy. So, so, so what do now, you think? Now you got somebody even taller. Than Tony Depp and fighting the micro man. Yeah, Brandon uh, Kirk is tall. For people who don't know, he's probably like 6'2". Yeah, so, uh, well, micro man gets his win that week, this weekend at that match somehow, some way. Oh, uh, so you're taking micro man o over Brandon Kirk? Yeah. All right. Um, I, I don't know. I have, like, this feeling that Brandon Kirk's going to go over. I just do. I, I don't know I why. I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it. I'm just thinking with my wrestling brain on that one. All right. All right. So it should be a fun match, though. I think yeah. Tony Deppin and Brent and, and, uh, and Michael Mann will be a little bit better just because Tony oh, Deppin yeah, has been such a douche. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, this is going to be a fun match also because Brandon – I think Brandon Kirk is really underrated as an actual wrestler. Yeah, no, he's good. Yeah. Um, I just think this becomes, like you said, like, you know – a funny match, and somehow Micro Micro Man pulls it out. Maybe headbutts him in the balls or something. Who knows? <laughs> All right. So then we have, um, you know, the Garbage Daddies again. We got Cole Radrick and Alec Price. They're taking on Rich and Powerful. So I'm guessing that's going to be Rich Holiday and Charles Mason. Yeah. Is that their tag? That's the tag team name. Yeah. That they're going with now. All right. Yeah. I really hope Cole Radrick and Alex Price go Yeah, Price I hope over. they pull that one off. I, I really do. different than the one on one. They're going to take the loss. Um, I mean, three Charles Mason matches within – that's a little much for me, to be honest. <laughs> it's a <laughs> little anger. much. Mm. It's a little much, but it's okay. This too shall pass. Yes. This too shall pass. There's many other matches worth it. All right, so now we have a returning Casey Kirk, Casey Catal taking on John Wayne Murdoch. You yes. know, this is going to be a death match. This oh, is yeah. Casey's first match in quite a while since so she had yeah. nerd, uh, she had that uh, she got hurt. I forgot what match it was, but she got hurt. She broke her nose. She had to have surgery, and she's just been out for a while. I guess just recuperating and taking it easy. Um, does she go over? 
is she going to beat John Wayne Mur Murdoch in her first match back? <laughs> Look, the world is a crazy place. It is. It Murdoch, is. Murdoch being called a pussy this week by certain fans. Yeah, Murdoch's going over. They're gonna the fans that are that were complaining that Murdoch loses the women just got him the push that he deserves. I guarantee you, Murdoch goes over in this one. You think so? Yeah. Um, I think Murdoch loses too often. To be honest, right? Um, you know, but maybe that's him because maybe he's just selfless and he's just like listen like i don't need to be he's a great dude no uh, like i said he's a great dude right but i think now because the result is nonsense this week if you've seen on twitter if you've seen in deathmatch elite people calling Murdoch a pussy and he's always losing the women and even brett picked up on it yeah i, I really believe that you're gonna see uh Murdoch start going over more just because of the just just to prove everybody wrong. I was really hoping that Murdoch was going to beat Blake last weekend, but um okay. I mean I, I mean it wasn't going to happen, but Yeah. You know, he's you know, he he can be that top guy. I think so. You know, um definitely. So now we got a really fun tag team match and this is definitely going to be a death match. We got Ryuji Ito and Abdullah Kobayashi taking on Los Macizos. A tag team uh, match that I never right, thought right. I wanted to see. Um, I think Sequelpe and Miedo are going to go balls to the fucking wall in this one. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm going. I'm going with Macizos. Yeah, I think they can probably go over in the tag match. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. I'm going with Macizos in this one. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be entertaining. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I, you know what? I'm really looking forward to like the different kind of fuckery that they're going to be having during this match. Yeah. I think it's going to be more than just glass. They're going to have some nice toys out there too. I'm sure. I, I'm just, I'm, I just have like that inclination that more is the answer. Yeah. How much is it? It's just going to be more. That's all we need to know. Yes, sir. Um, so then we got the MDK Club. We have Tremont, Gage, and Maki Ito. Taking on Thrussy, which is uh, Alley Catch, Effie, and I and think Mandy. Sawyer. 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 I think it's Sawyer. Yeah. Um, this would probably be hardcore deathmatch ish. Yeah, um, yeah. Besides Mackie, most of them are all you know deathmatch. You know, either adjacent or actual deathmatch. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, I'm going with a uh, MDK club. Yeah, they're one. hot right now. They're having fun. Yeah, so yeah. Adding good... Tremont to the mat, adding Tremont to that tag team is going to be interesting and fun. Yeah. So then we have, which I think is a little interesting. So now we got Blake Christian taking on Masha Slamovich. Woo! Um, champion versus champion. I don't think this is title for title. It's probably just for the it's GCW not. title. Yes. Um, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, Masha just won the tournament. Beat, you know, she beat Jordan yes. Oliver in the main event, right? He, she beat Jordan Oliver in the main event, right? In the, of yeah. the, the yeah. tournament? Yeah, it was a Jake Cobb. I don't understand this match. Why? Why it's being put on? Yeah. Well, I think, again, if you put you put my wrestling hat on, my right. my booker mind, I'm not a <laughs> right. booker, but if I'm thinking like a booker, this is another kind of match where it looks, you know, puzzling. Why? Why would you put this match on right now? It more looks to me to set up a feud for, like, spring break and upcoming shows. So what you do is you have Masha and Blake are going to fight. Somebody's going to fuck Masha over to set up a feud with her. Interesting. That is, that is a good way to look that's at. That's my thought. All right. That's my Booker. That's that, that. That would be Booker. <sighs> All right. Yeah, 
So, so like I said, I, I'm I'm pretty sure this be setting up Masha for a few, you know, to set up for maybe a spring break match or well, I think they she got a spring break match, maybe just something else. Okay, you know what I mean, just to set up something for her because, uh, like I said, I think, I think Blake holds the belt, and then the most likely person to drop it to would be Mance. That's my hope. Okay, so if this does happen, who do you think is going to screw over Masha? Who? I know. I don't know, man. That's a good question. Uh, I mean, it's even harder because she can go with women or men, so it's hard. You know, maybe it could be anybody. I mean, maybe it's someone... We haven't seen in a while. It could be if now if this does happen, it could maybe it's someone we haven't seen in a while. Maybe could make it a return. Maybe a debut. Who maybe knows? Anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sky's the limit. Maybe uh, I don't know. SDL. Never know. Maybe Mancer. Maybe. We don't know. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah. So, what do you think? The match of the weekend is going to be Friday night included. So H two O Friday and all GCW. What do you think the match of the weekend is going to be? I, I, I'm sticking with Tremont and Kobayashi. I agree for my for for for, for me. That's no, going to be. I think I'm going to have the most fun and enjoy that match the most. Yeah, I agree. Uh, you know, yes. If they're you know it, what we what we always you know talked about you know it looks like they're going with you know. Because it's indie wrestling, you can do whatever they want. You know, it right. looks like they're going to go with the Tremont version of Matt Tremont, right? And uh, you know, no matter how much I love to kill those, it'll be nice to see that. I'm ready for it. You know, yeah, I don't I'm mind re- listening I'm to Journey uh, as long as it's Tremont coming out. I can listen to Journey. Uh, he's going to have that place rocking, man. That's yeah. you know, I wonder if uh, you know, because I. You know, you can kind of like tell that you know he needed to change it up and do something different, and he's really oh, yeah. liking the and he's liking the kill dozer. But you know, this is the first time in a while that he's going back to that. Yeah, you know that that music hits in the, in front of that GCW crown Atlantic City. It just hits different, and uh, oh. yeah, we'll we'll have to start a welcome back chant or something because he he fucking deserves it. Never know, man. But well, I'm gonna go. I'm going with Tremont Kobayashi. That's gonna be my match for the yeah. weekend, also. Yeah, nice. So we'll see, man. It's gonna be a fun weekend. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, all I can say is people coming to the showboat. You know me. <laughs> hit me up. Yeah. Because uh, we do have some fun ass after parties after that show Saturday night. So you know, you want to yeah. have a good time. Yes, you, not only do you want to have a good time, and this is one thing I'll give props to everybody that we meet down there. Right. We've had, uh, they've had after parties even before I would start going to them, but I've gone to the last three and dude, everybody's fucking cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? There I isn't agree. a goddamn, there isn't like a miserable bone in that fucking room. <laughs> well, it's a big room. But you know, there right. isn't, there's no bullshit. Nobody's like, oh, you hit me, you touch me. Nobody cares. Everybody's fucking happy. That's the shit that makes me love this even more is that the community gets together and it's never friction, bro. It's just. No, it's fun. not. I mean, dude, we were Ric Flair chopping the shit out of each other. Not the last one, but the one before. All good. We were just having a good time. Yeah, dude. I, Fuck it's, it. Yeah, it's dude. Yeah, I mean, Marty is probably going to get an F5 this weekend. Nice. No, no he de- no, he definitely is. Now, I want to put Tony Deppin in the rings of Saturn. So I think you, I think he should. Yeah. He fucking deserves it. Yeah. What a sack of shit, you know? I love, mm-hmm. I love fucking mm-hmm. with him so much. <laughs> He's fucking he hysterical. He loves fucking with me, too. So he gets me, too. But we, we get each other. Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah. I'm really – Counting down the days, so yeah, yeah we got to the boys, to the boys, girls, fans, everybody, man. It's going to be a yeah. fun weekend, like usual. Yeah, we got um, we got people flying in. Oh um, yeah, people driving in from all over the place. Yeah, 
It's um yeah, Lawler, Andy Lawler couldn't miss this. Good, I'm glad he's coming up again. Yeah, he'll be there. Uh, I think he's I think he's doing H2O on Friday also. No, no, he's just coming Saturday. Oh, just Saturday. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, okay. Because I I just I actually talked to him earlier. Uh, you know, he he gets he flies into Philly. He might stop here before he goes to AC. So oh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because I'm I'm pretty sure um uh, I saw some like people coming up from Houston for this. People are driving all oh, the yeah. way down from like upstate New York and oh, yeah. all, all uh, Pittsburgh and Cleveland. It's it's gonna be a good time, man. Yeah, no, nah, like I said, man, it, it, it's a good setup. You know what I mean? And uh, if you go, you know, you chip in with your friends. It's it's not that it's it's still affordable to stay down there. It is. W gets the room rates. You know what I mean? It's all good. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. I'm I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. And um we're definitely in for it. It's gonna be one for the books, that's oh, for yeah. sure. Because the last ever since they moved into the terminal, every single one it's just been an absolute fucking banger. Oh yeah, we might have to just do a Facebook live with Chad Mins. We might have to. My yeah. God. Yeah. Well actually speak so I'll just say this now. Um, I mean, it's somewhat has to do with him, but like, cause he's the ring guy. So I'm doing a fundraiser at work. So Friday, May 10th at 730 at the Sacred Heart Church, right? We're doing, um, ISPW wrestling. Um, so it's, it's a fundraiser. I work for a nonprofit and I wanted to come up with something different and fun and out of the box to, um, cause we work with a different, like a whole lot of different programs, right? Uh, substance abuse, mental health. Um, like mommy and me programs. We help veterans from war and all these type of different kind of things in Ocean County, New Jersey. And, you know, I wanted to put together a fundraiser. I wanted to do something different. And I knew ISPW did these things. And it just so happens that like almost everyone in my job, they watch wrestling or they used to. So everyone is on board. I got in touch with Tommy Fierro. We talked on the phone about it. We're getting posters made of flyers. And I'll have awesome. more information later on uh we got tommy dreamer for it so he'll be there um yeah we're all really looking forward to this and good I'm stuff gonna, bro. yeah it is good stuff I'm, I'm looking forward to this tommy's an awesome dude he's been doing this a long time and he's been very communicative and yeah man we're gonna make it happen we're gonna have a good time gotcha. and listen and i'll have more information later yeah, on definitely but anybody wants to out. um Listen, if you if you can't make it and you want to donate, you can. So then what we'll do is we'll use the money for the donation and we'll get tickets that way. And I'll drop them off to, you know, like the local YMCA. I'll bring them to a, a sober living house. I'll bring them, you know, maybe to the local church and then they can give it to a family or something. So it's get the community involved, do something fun and do something different for a good cause. So, oh. Yeah, so that's what we got going on. And um, Joe, any last parting words? Well, no, like I said, man, starting it's uh, starting Friday. We're gonna have a great weekend to have uh, some great action, great fun. Yeah, look forward to seeing you, brother. Looking forward to seeing you too, sir. So, um, this is Wrestle Death episode number six. Number six. Officially number six. Yeah, number five. five. You will find five somewhere. It exists. It's yeah. here. It, it's it's a format formality, if that makes sense. Yeah. It's just we'll get it up there, America. I know you you are clamoring for episode number five. We'll get there, but we got this, Joe. Yeah. Always a pleasure, my dude. Rick and um, my man. See you in a we'll couple be, days, bro. We'll be in touch. Talk to. You. We'll, I'll see you in a couple days, and we got a great weekend ahead of us. Damn right. All right. All right, my G, I'll talk to you. America, stay strong.